with all of which, of course, I agree fully. We didn't get here by accident or by chance or by luck or by some manifestation of fortune. We got here as a result of sustained and painstaking effort. And I want, in fact, Minister Walrand to go back a little bit, even beyond all of the very hard work that you quite rightly pointed to, the effort made by the investor to mobilize financing, and in today's global economic climate, mobilizing financing for significant investments like this is not a trivial task. The effort made by offices like GoInvest under the able leadership of Dr. Peter Ramsaru to attract and facilitate such investments. The contributions made by so many other parties to realize this investment, and you very appropriately, Minister Walron, describe those efforts. I want, in fact, to go back even further in reflecting on the journey that got us here. And Dr. Ramsut spoke about some of this as well. The prerequisites to creating an attractive destination for investment. Democracy, a strong macroeconomic environment, investor-friendly policies, etc. In my journey backwards, I would remind us all that once, not so long ago, where we stand today would have been cane fields, retired cane fields, and of course previously cane fields in, in use. And it took at the, at the time a bold and visionary government that recognized the trajectory that Guyana could be heading towards to develop this entire new development that today we might want, we might easily take for granted. Not so long ago, this, not so long ago, this entire area represented fields that were unutilized. And we embarked the previous People's Progressive Party civic government, recognizing that we were simultaneously laying the foundation for a tremendous economic takeoff in Guyana. Indeed, long before oil and gas had been discovered and confirmed. 
that led to the opening of vast new areas, such as Providence, such as Diamond Grove, such as Eccles. In fact, there are many of us in this room who can remember when the Eccles housing scheme was first conceptualized. At that time, in response to a recognized deficit in the housing stock. Today, Eccles is a vast housing area that, like I said, many might be want to take for granted. Today, Eccles houses an industrial estate and tremendous industrial activity that not so long ago was not there. Today, Diamond Grove is home to tens of thousands of Guyanese. Not so long ago, none of those, ho those homes were there. None of the economic activity that we see there today and that perhaps we might be inclined to take for granted, none of that was there. None of the social services were there, the schools, the hospitals, None of the private sector activities, the supermarkets, the service providers. And that is the life, the the sauteing so ceremony of the Hyatt Hotel here in Providence. Present here in making South. remarks is the Minister of it, Tourism, yes, Industry and Commerce, Honorable Tony Walsh, and also the Minister of Finance, of Dr. Ashley Singh. More details will be on their review of the